Hey, what's up guys? My name is Steven Mayu, and in this video series, I walk you through the React challenges at FreeCodeCamp.com. Right now, I'm going through the very first React challenge to build a Markdown Previewer. And uh, in, in the last video, I was, uh, uh, I was uh, foreshadowing, uh, I was hinting uh, uh, about the development environment. And normally, when I create React applications, I don't use CodePen. Uh, I use my, you know, external text editor. I use Atom, but uh, some people use Sublime or, um, you know, whatever. Not important. Uh, my, my point is that de developing React applications in CodePen, the setup is a little bit different, and, um, and I'm not going to do all of the challenges uh, in CodePen, all of the React challenges, because um, well, uh, it could get really cluttered and really messy really, really quickly. Uh, but for this challenge, because it, it's so simple and, well, not simple, but it's pretty straightforward and not complex, I'm just going to develop it here in CodePen, and then in the subsequent challenges, as they grow in complexity, we'll just move that over to, um, uh, to an external text editor. Uh, so first of all, let's create a new pen. And let's get set up before we write any code on the screen. So I'm just going to click on New Pen, right? And you know you can you can give it a name if you want to. I think that's a good idea. So let's say React Mark. We'll say GitHub Flavored Preview. You can call it whatever you want to. All right, great. And then you are going to need uh, to um, include some some settings in here. So, um, you know, by the way, you can, you know, update the description and, you know, put in some tags if you want to. Um, for the head, I'm just going to uh, insert the most common viewport meta tag. So there it is right there. And boom, we're finished. Let's go to CSS. Um, we're going to use SAS for this challenge, but uh, just for the styling and for the, the margins and things like that, I'm going to bring in Bootstrap. All right, because uh, I really like Bootstrap and makes it everything you know nice and easy. Then we're going to go into JavaScript, and I'm not going to need any jQuery or the Bootstrap JavaScript uh, uh, you know files, but I am going to need a few other things. Um, first, we're going to need React, and then I'm going to need another library called React DOM. It's right underneath React in the drop-down menu, and I need to add one more resource. Okay, if you go back to the uh, instructions at freecodecamp.com, um, they give you a hint at number seven. You don't need to interpret Markdown yourself. Thank goodness, because that would be a very big undertaking. And there's also a ton of libraries that you know do this for you already. So why you know start it from scratch? Doesn't make any sense. Uh, you can import the marked library for this, and then they give you the CDN link for it. Uh, basically, well, uh, I always always should punish myself when I say that word, basically. I say it a lot in these videos. Um, marked is just a simple, uh, easy-to-use library that interprets, you know, different, you know, markdown languages. Uh, in our case, we need it for GitHub flavored Markdown, and it converts that Markdown into HTML. So it's um, it's fairly easy to use, and we just need to include it in our project. So uh, let's do that right now. I am going to um, open this up, and uh, here we have like three files. We have marked.js, we have marked.min.js, and uh, and then another one like a map file. Um, yeah, I would say you know pick either one. The the mark the first one it's going to be the um, the non minified version, so it'll be easier to read and you can see all the comments. Uh, mark dot min that's the minified version for like production, so it's been compressed and there's no comments or anything like that. It's smaller and it loads up faster. Um, so I'm just going to get the minified version, the second one, and I will include it in, in my JavaScript right here. Okay, so we're going to save that. And okay, I think we're good to go. So uh, 
this is totally different from uh, from uh, from how you do it in the dev environment uh, in like a external um, you know text editor. Totally different. Um, CodePen it does it um, you know quite it, it it makes it easier for you to you know get up and running really fast. Uh, the drawback to CodePen is uh, not very good for complex projects uh, because look you only get uh, one two three coding uh, you know areas for your HTML for your CSS and then like one file essentially for your for your JavaScript so it could be pretty darn uh, tough <laughs> to uh, to you know uh, make some really complex projects in CodePen um, but for this project we'll be in here there's one more little thing that we have to do um, we need to use SAS so let's go over here to our CSS and we need to choose a a preprocessor. So for CSS preprocessor, let's choose SAS. You can also choose SCSS. Uh, basically, the, uh, these two. There, I said it again. Basically, uh, these two. Uh, they're essentially the same thing. Um, but the Free Code Camp they want us to use SAS, so I'll choose SAS. And for JavaScript, we need a the preprocessor Babel right here. Um, we're going to be using some ES6 features. That's the newest version of JavaScript. And we're also going to be writing something with, uh, with JSX. And in the next videos, I'm going to explain what that is. But in order to make all of that work, we need to select Babel as our JavaScript processor. OK, so we're set up. I'm going to save and close that. In the next video, we're going to throw up the HTML that we need for this project, as well as the CSS, the SAS. That's going to be really quick and dirty. And for the subsequent videos for this project, we're going to be working exclusively here in this JavaScript window. So um, go to the kitchen, get a beverage. In the next video, we'll take care of the HTML and CSS really quickly and then dive into the JavaScript. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Boop.